finally back, finally back on the bulkhead. All the finger that I put the rush treatment on, it's got to be brushed off, primed. I can now finally get back on my job. Yep, I'll keep keep you posted, keep you updated as I go along. But yeah, this is where I left off. I've started working on this bit now, spot welding all that in, cleaning this up a bit, and the new lip here. So I've welded all the way down there, put the new lip in, and then obviously this piece will go over all of that. But I've just finished spot welding all these in. At the moment I'm just cleaning it up. Then I'm gonna put a bit of primer on it and put that lip over it and start on that. Okay, looking good. A bit windy out here. I've managed to sort my welder out until I can get a gas one. Managed to dial it in better. So it's giving me nicer weld. Once I've sorted all this, I can start getting into all of this bit here, which I'm looking forward to, kinda. <laughs> right, I'll be back when I've done some more. Waiting for the primer to dry, and then I'm going to start welding this plate in. I keep getting messages to tell me to just scrap it. I don't think people seem to understand of the saving of a car. Yeah. Anyway. That's where I am at at the moment. As soon as I've done this bit, I can start making the panels for the bulkhead. I've got the metal and everything thanks to all the kind people who donated. So, I can really get a good move on now, providing the rain stays away. Yeah. I'll get back to you soon. Slowly getting there. I started welding that section in. get inside the car and start welding the inner plate so that's what it looks like so far I don't know how long the rain's going to hold off for I was really hoping to do a longer video for you today so that's what it's looking like so far lots of grinding I'll be back to you when I've uh, started doing some is it so far? Slowly getting there. Just got to finish welding all of that piece in there. Oh, other than that, it's looking great. A bit more welding around the tunnel there. Straighten that lip up a bit more. Clean the welds off. Put a little bit of filler on and prime it. Ready for the next bit. It's going to look good. Awesome, I'll be back shortly. Just wanted to update you. This is it so far. I've welded that bit in, I've just got to grind the welds down. I've just got to do that little corner there and in the wheel arch a bit. Um, so get in there, cleaned all that up again so I can put a few more welds in there. Slowly getting there, I've actually got the lip now. Loads of new metal. Just gotta finish shaping it and stuff. Let's get in there. Get in there, a lip all the way up. I'll be back with you when I've done some more. Right. Now I've gotta get under there and start doing this. Got to get my new metal in there, this piece. That's what I'm on next. And then I'll go clean it all up. Knock that in, I've got some mould around that. It looks a bit messy at the minute, but it won't be when I'm done. Let's see. They look really nice. I'm trying to do a longer video for you today. But it did start spitting not long ago. All in there's just surface rust. 
I'll be back with you when I've cleaned all of this up and it looks neat and tidy. So, look now, and then after it's going to be lovely. Alright, I'll be back shortly. I started, I started doing in that section now. There's now no holes up there. Just welding in the inner wing. I'm just got to finish cleaning the ball up. Really getting there. Got to make sure I primer it tonight before it starts raining. So, just wanted to bring you back for a little look. Getting close to being able to do this section now. Looking good. It's starting to spit. Hope it doesn't start raining too much. Uh, I've got to get in that footwell and start cleaning that rust treatment off and getting that primed and at the same time I'll grind all that down and then I'll come back and show you before I primer it yeah. get in there I'll be back with you shortly that's how much I've done so far start the repairs in there and that bit of metal in there I'll continue down to the bottom but that's it it's got a lip I'm going to primer that in a minute and then I'm going to move down into the footwell and start cleaning that and primer that. It's starting to drizzle a bit. So, that's, that's it. All of that. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a grind. Then I'm moving down into where I um, rust treated, clean that up and primer it. And primer all up there. And I'll be back with you when I've done some more. Been a long day, but it's looking good. In a bit, I'm going to start spraying some WD-40 all over the engine, on the plugs and linkages, ready for that final startup. You know, that startup day. Will it run? I'll get back to you shortly. I'm gonna have to leave it like that. I'm going to have to leave it like that for now. I'm going to have to get inside because it's starting to spit. So I'm going to do inside the uh, car in the footwell. And I'll have to make that do for tonight in, in here. But that's how I've got it. I'll be back with you when I'm inside the vehicle. Right. Before we move into the car, let's spray some WD-40 on everything on the engine. All over the plugs. I will move into the car in a sec to clean up that uh, rush treatment that we put down. Oh, it's getting late though. Where else is that? 
just spray the whole carb. I do want to jet wash this engine before we start it and before I take these covers off because I don't want none of this rubbish crap falling into my top of my engine because I want to take these off, check the valves before we do the live run video. Right. Very good. Uh, which that one? That's probably the. Doesn't feel like it's connected to anything. Anyway, we'll let that soak. And then I'm gonna, tomorrow I'll probably take the plugs out, spray some oil down the uh, balls. And then when I take, and I'll probably take, probably jet wash it as well. Possibly tomorrow, not sure yet, because I just want to get on with some of that bulk. I'll come back to you when I'm inside the vehicle to clean and inside that footwell up a bit. I'll try and See you in a little while. I'm just about to start my final bit, and that is get all of this cleaned up and primed. Um, it's getting late now, and I gotta try and get this video up for tonight. I tried to make a long video, but it was all just similar stuff, to be fair. I didn't wanna bore you with it. But I will try to get longer videos in the future. Now my end of today's job is to wire whirl all that off now. Now the rust treatment's worked. All the rust is gone. It's actually like a brown now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll get back with you when I start wire whirling that and um, have a little look before I primer it. Obviously the primer's only temporarily on all with the metal I'm doing. It will all be cleaned off and redone me some proper stuff. It's just to protect it while I'm working on it. Um, I've left the bonnet off so I can get some light in here. And my next bit is to get them holes there sorted out. I wanna make a plate for in there. That's why I haven't completely finished that metal under there. Yeah, okay. I'll get back with you when I've started by whirling that and We'll have a look. See you in a minute. Hello, I'm back. That's how I'm going to leave it for tonight. It helps me, uh, it's white primer. It can all be like sanded off afterwards when I get to it. I just want to use it to protect my metal that I've uh, rush treated. So, still got quite a bit of work to do in there. I'm really tired now though. That'll do. It's better than what it looked like before. There's still a few holes I've got to fix up there, but like I said, I've got to make a plate around there. But I've had enough for tonight. At some point, I've also got to remove the window and the scuttle panel in order for me to carry on working down there and the dashboard. Yeah, that'll be a lot easier for me to get around the bulkhead area. Because I want to paint all the uh, metal of the dash anyway. 
it's, it's a little bit on the scratched side. I mean, this is metal, isn't it? Yeah, all that's metal, so all that'll get repainted. Might as well while it's all out, eh? I haven't even got a glove box. <laughs> Where am I going to put my gloves? I'll just fall through. <laughs> I know it all seems to be the same thing that I'm doing at the moment, but I promise you, we will move on once that bulkhead's done. Also, I'm hoping to jet wash the engine down, take the heads, the covers off, check all the um, valves, the rockers and what lot, and make sure it's all okay, and then try and rotate the engine by hand. And when it does a full rotation, and then we'll be getting very close to the will it start video. I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait. Might have to put the down pipes on, because obviously there's no exhaust on this vehicle. The down pipes was taken off, I might have to stick them on temporarily so it's not too loud. Uh, I'm just, um, nothing else to really show you really is there I just wanted to get this video out for you tonight so hopefully I'll be doing that shortly I've noticed also on this car that there's no front jacking points I think somebody's changed the corners and not bothered putting the jacking points back on the passenger side I think the driver's side's got it on the sill bit, the bit on the sill's missing. So hopefully I'll, uh, not that I'm in any rush to do that part because I won't be j using the jacking points anyway. Oh, all that light down there is coming from the bonnet being off. <laughs> oh, see, all that is nice now. It's all primed. Obviously there's a few holes there that I've got to sort. And there. But I'll do that when I get down to this section. My main priority is to get that bulkhead done. As it's part, part, main part of the car in it. And then. I suppose. After the bulkhead. I need to start do, doing the. Um the chassis so I really don't like that being in half as soon as I do that one I'll be happy then because obviously this side's stronger because the chassis rattling is bad on this one this side um, that's it really yeah. um, please um, like and subscribe and thank you everyone for all your support and, and subscribing. You really are helping. And a big thank you to everyone who donated to my GoFundMe. Which allowed me to get the metal early. And my welding wire. Um, and some other bits and bobs. That's going to help me make some good progress. Obviously. I haven't used any of the new metal yet. But that will be what's making the bulkhead bit where the eater box sits I've got a plan for all of that so it should be pretty straightforward so yep please like and subscribe and hit that thumbs up it really does help and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and I will get back to you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye